LED lighting has shown many beneficial attributes in today's lighting needs, especially related to the use in photography and video. Some of these characteristics are economic, light efficiency, ecology, weight ratio, consistency with light output, and portability. The largest issue in the use of these lights has been the cost. Many commercial LED lights have either been too expensive or not very efficient. Costs for LED lights have a range of $30 for single low output light to over $4,000 for the better units. I wanted to find a solution to this issue, so I could produce a relatively low cost but usable kit for both the professional and amateur alike. Through my research I have been able to produce a three-piece kit, which contains a key light, fill light, and backlight for approximately $350. You can use a microphone stand for the key light, a tripod for the fill light and another small microphone stand for the backlight. You can use filters of your choice to mount on the lights. The key light output is approximately 1000 lumen. A 1000 lumen LED light is enough light to produce portraits, object lighting, interviews and small field of view video productions. Since LED lights are cool in operation, you can set your lights fairly close to the subject or object you want to photograph or video record. Here is the contents of the LED light kit I use. A through night catapult, XML 1000 lumen flashlight, with an orange peel reflector, which helps diffuse the beam. I also, place a coke in filter holder, coke in P-series PB400A, to the flashlight head and add more diffusion with fine tracing paper. Optionally you attach a coke in sun soft filter to create a warmer effect. The fill light used is an LED shop light, Husky 180 LED, portable work light with a frosted filter attached on the front by four velcro tabs. For the backlight or small spotlight I use the Coast LED Lens a 105 lumen flashlight with an adjustable focus ring. You can white balance the object or person without a filter if you want to keep the natural sun spectrum in your production. If you need to have a warmer light, you can white balance without the filter first, then add the coke in sun soft filter, then proceed to shoot. Let's go through a general setup of the LED light kit. First, get your key light, filter holder, and filters. Take your key light filter holder, Coke in P-Series PB400A, and insert the filters of your choice. I use a custom cut fluorescent diffuser panel. Then I apply a piece of tracing paper on top of the diffuser panel. If you want you can apply any other filters you wish. I use a Coke in Sun Soft filter for a warmer effect. The filter attachment is then snapped onto the head of the through night catapult XML 1000 lumen flashlight. Note, it might take a couple of tries to mount the filter holder as it has to be pulled onto the flashlight head to be attached. Second, attach the key light with either bungee cords or a microphone clip to a microphone stand. Then place the key light in front of the subject or object. Third, Take your fill light, Husky 180 LED, portable work light, with your diffused filter and attach the light to a tripod with C100 clips. C100 clips are any medium sized pincher clamps. Place this light in a position to fill in any shadows on the subject or object. Fourth, it is not always necessary to have a backlight, but if so, place any filters desired and take your small LED flashlight. Coast LED lens a 105 lumen flashlight and place it behind the object or subject. You can also use this light to highlight any particular spot on your subject or object. Here is a diagram of my setup of the light kit. This is the actual setup of the key light and fill light. In this shoot I did not use a backlight. As you can see from the following examples, there are some excellent possibilities in lighting with LED lights.
leave a comment and or send me an email at herzog.guy at gmail.com.